Hello friends, I am Ardik Patel. Welcome back to Django Tutorial. Today we are going to see how can we create custom application and how can we write the view. Okay, so in today's video, uh, we will write, uh, we will create first a basic application that is Django application uh, with uh, employee's name. So ultimately what I am going to do in this series that I will create one applications while uh, explaining everything so what i am doing this employee management system okay so we are building employee management system so for now uh, i am not going in a deep with the functionalities but what i am going to do is that just i will create a separate app for employees and uh, we will write a just simple view it will just uh, it will just print hello world in the browser okay so let's look at that okay so before that i have to activate virtual environment which we created in a previous video demo is our product or uh, project folder and here in back directory there was virtual environment directory activating that so environment is activated now now we have this manage.py available which is our command line utility using that uh, we can uh, access many things of Django application so what I'll do I will just create a single amp that is called employee okay so let's use that Python manage.py and then start app that is Django utility, Django command. Uh, start up, start up, start up, start up. Here it is. Right? So you can use that start up. <coughs> and the whatever the name you want to give, like I am going to give the name employee. Okay? So that will be our application's name. Okay. Now let's go to the editor. I'll refresh this and now you can see employees available okay okay now just I will create in a single view that is if you uh, if you will create any Django application using Django uh, admin.py start project and project name then you will uh, have this command lines in this URLs which will help you uh, to create a URLs right it is explaining that function based views you can use class based view can you use and including another URL conf that means uh, let's say for example now we have employees and I will create one file there urls.py okay and now what I will do just I need to import this path here and I will create URL patterns there as well like this and I will enter like this and path and inside that there will be three argument first will be simple that will be your path but for now I do not have anything this is uh, without uh, adding something I will explain how you all works okay then uh, I have to import view as well so second argument is always will be the method okay X, uh, let me explain that also you can hear uh, you can see here that function views if we are using then from application name and then import views and then views dot whatever the, whatever the method name you have implemented if you have used class based views then you need to do like this from other app dot views import and then home and then home dot as view why because home is a class and as we use a method which is a parent class method which will convert as a method so that way there are two ways you can use and another is that well, let me do here itself path then inside that what we have done that employee right so related employees all the URLs I want are uh, starting from employee so let's say for example employee then list employee slash create employee slash delete 
whatever you want to give the name that means uh, you have to write this is like a prefix of this urls okay so okay now let me import and include that you have to add here include here this is again a property of urls django.urls that you can include and inside that there is one argument you need to give that is and that you have to pass as a string okay app name dot urls so what is our app name employee that urls okay so this is our employee URL. So this what we have done here this uh, third uh, third type of url we have used including another url conf that is employee apps right now this is i have saved and whatever i give here name let's say for example i have given uh, details then what will be the url for this domain name or ip address then slash employee slash details and then slash right so that way it will build the url so that uh, so you can understand how we can modularize the application right that way okay so i'm not putting details here i'm just keeping black blank and then method name also i haven't built any method so let me save save blank and then views i have to create okay uh, like div home request okay and then return simple hello employee manager okay save then home so how can i import that from and then app name employee dot views then import maybe you can do that that way star or else what you can do import views and then you can write like this views dot home okay then there is another parameter that is name that will be useful to uh, that will be useful in a django template language as well as you can use this name parameter for redirecting uh, from other url to other url i will explain that when we will have uh, we will use this okay for now just i am writing that employee home okay all right so this is our url this is our view and uh, here also we have added right now let's try to run this application how can we run this is development uh, development server you can say because this will not be useful to deploy the application but this will this is useful for developing the application so there are two ways uh, to run this application not two ways but there is one extra argument you can give that is if you want to run on a separate port then you can also do that you just need to uh, pass the port number else if you want to run this application in your network let's say for example i have this pc this one and i have another pc which is in the same network and i want to access this application from another uh, pc then what you need to do that is you have to use like this all zero and then whatever the port number you want to give that was uh, for earlier versions but in this versions in this 2.0 they have uh, allowed this to do like this you can directly mention that 0 colon 8000 0 means automatically it will take as a 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 okay so this is again helpful now let me run this that yeah, is running successfully okay and i am allowing because it is asking me to allow this uh, server to uh, serve request to other computers in the network okay and let me run this application okay so you can see here that two urls are there there is no url like this normal no slash 
okay there is no home url now it is okay now what i need to do either admin either or employee if i do employee now you'll see that string object has no attribute get so there is something wrong here okay so what is that yes so what we did that will uh, be answer like this just like this so it will not run but you need uh, i need to use http response that is available from dot Django http import http response okay and now let me do that response and save it it will run and then refresh it again here it is now you can see hello employee manager so what we have done here we have just written HTTP response inside that we just pass the string but next time in next video maybe uh, we will see how can we render HTML from here okay so for now that's it thank you very much uh, for watching this video